Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and today I am doing this makeup look that I have right now and this makeup look, it literally does not take me over 20 minutes to do. It's literally my face, pop on some lashes and I call it a day. So if you guys want to see how I created this glowy natural look, then please keep watching. So the first thing I'm going to do is go in and moisturize my face and I actually already did that like 10 minutes prior. And now I am going to go in with Pore Professional Pore Primer by Benefit and apply that all over my face. So for my foundation, I am going to go in with the Double Wear. Oh my god, there's a hair. foundation in the shade Tawny and Cashew and I just mix those two together and I'm just going to take my damp beauty blender and blend everything in my skin this foundation is freaking amazing it literally covers up anything and everything and it doesn't feel too heavy on the skin. And I actually have like really weird skin where like it's really hard for me to match colors. As you can see, I'm actually going in with two different shades. I actually never found a foundation that matches me perfectly. It's quite weird. It's quite weird, quite weird. I'm just gonna make sure that it's blended all over my skin and also under my chin and my neck a little bit. For my concealer, I actually use it to conceal and to highlight, so I am going to go in with the LA Pro Girl Concealer in the shade Natural and put that under well my T zone. Well, every place that I want it to be highlighted, which is under my eyes. Under my eyes. On the bridge of my nose, forehead, on my chin, right here. Right here and under my contour lines. I'm just gonna go in with my damp, damp beauty blender and just blend everything out. These, this, these, this concealer is so easily blendable. I absolutely love it. And it's really cheap, and I'm, like, obsessed with it. I don't think I will use any other concealer. I feel like I wouldn't go out of my way. Why is it blurry? Like I was saying, um, I feel like that I would never go out of my way to go purchase a concealer that is, like, over $20 when, like, my freaking LA Pro Girl Concealer, like, $4 works better than a lot of high-end ones, actually. Um, now that I have that, I'm actually gonna, why does the camera look so bright? But I'm just gonna go in and touch up right here, and right here. So now that is done, I'm actually going to go in with my favorite, 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 favorite Time 65 
powder, and this is the Airspun Loose Face Powder in the shade Translucent. And I'm actually just going to take this powder and put it everywhere that I highlighted and concealed at. I don't put this all over my face because I feel like it's too... It actually brightens my under eye, so that's why I use it for my T-zone only. And I'll go in with another powder just to set everything on my face. So... Going in and just applying this all over where I put the concealer. Just like that. I'm so excited. I don't know why I'm like really happy today. I mean, I'm not questioning it, but thank you, God. <laughs> thank you, God. So for my um, contour, I'm going to be taking the Shade and Light Contour Palette. It is very beat up. It is abused. It is used, but it works. But I'm taking this shade right here. I can't even read the shades anymore. I forgot what it was called. So right here. And I am taking a It Brushes from Elf. Ulta and I'm taking it and just putting it where I'm gonna be contouring my face I am not bronzing my face with this I am just going to be contouring and give myself a Okay, now we are moving on to highlighter. And for my highlight, please don't tell me I lost it. Oh, it's right here. So now that we're moving on to highlighter, and I actually go beyond crazy with my highlighter. So I'm actually taking two highlighter palettes that, that I have. And I'm going to be taking the Glow Kit by Anastasia and the Urban Decay Afterglow. And these two together, I tell you guys, are freaking perfect, amazing. They're beautiful together, like mixed together as one highlighter. Girl, it is amazing. So now 
I'm going to be taking these two highlighters and from the Urban Decay Glow Kit I'm only going to be taking Side Piece and Bliss and then from the Glow Kit I'm only going to be taking Dripping in Sun and Bubbly like that tapping off the excess and just putting it on my high points of my face which is my please tell me you guys can see that you guys just saw like it was just like a light that just focused exactly where I just put it and it was like bright as hell but yeah so I'm just gonna go in and go do the other side just like that. Miss that being extra and make sure this video is not a million hours long. But girl, I be getting so crazy when I find good highlighters, good anything. Like, I just wanna sit here and go like this all day. So I'm just gonna put it right here on my forehead and on the bridge of my nose. Just like that on the tip of my nose. I try not to drag it all the way straight down. I kind of make, I kind of like to make an excla exclamation. I couldn't even say it. I tried making an exclamation mark like this and like this. Okay, you guys, don't get me wrong with these Urban Decay, with the Urban Decay and the Glow Cap. Using them alone, they work amazing. Like, they work amazing alone, too. Like, you guys don't have to go in and mix them. But I just want to be extra and do that because I just like the shade it comes out. Because I don't know why, but I used to use this shade Sunburst right here for my highlight. And it just didn't pop because I literally thought the shade that ended up with all these color mixed together, it would be that shade. But it just looks... Not right. It just looks off. So I'm just going to go and highlight the crap out of my face 50 million times. Go down the bridge of my nose. Right here, right here, and right here. Okay, so now that is done, you don't want to freaking look insane. I'm actually going to go in again with my air spun powder. I can't spin it. I mean, I can't move it because it's going to fall everywhere, but y'all know what I'm talking about. The air spun powder, I put it everywhere. I applied it before because I feel like we just moved everything together. Right here, right here, right here. I'm actually gonna go in with my beauty blender and just um highlight the highlight. Make a line under that. Just like that. And now I am gonna go back in with my bronzer brush and just darken everything up. And this is my face. Okay. Now that that is done, I am actually going to go in with my e.l.f. powder brush and just blend everything together and out because I don't want no harsh lines and like, I don't want my highlighter being here, my contour being here, my bronzer being here. I just want everything blended together. Just like that. And I'm actually going to dust off the powder that I put underneath my contour line. So now, so now, I'm going to go in with my highlighter again because I'm insane. Let's touch it up really quick. Yeah. I have no idea when I stopped recording. Hopefully I didn't record an important part. Because then that's going to be a problem. But anyways, moving on to my eyebrows. I don't really use a certain product that you buy for your eyebrows. I actually just use a shade that comes in the Morphe 35N palette for my eyebrows. And that shade is this shade right here. It's the bottom, the lash row, the fourth shade right here. And I'm going to be using that for my eyebrows. Oh, I really don't go in crazy to do my eyebrows because my eyebrows, thank God, are like already so full so I really just go in and fix up the fronts and stuff so I will line the bottom I will go in and line the bottom and the top just like that and then I will take my brush and I will go in the front right here and just go upwards 
so it doesn't give me the chola eyebrows it just gives me like not they're just faded in the front and not too dark there's my So I'm just going to go in with my spoolie and brush my brows out. And yeah, so now moving on to the lashes. It really does look like that it took me forever to do this, but usually when I do my everyday makeup like this, it takes me like 15 minutes. I feel like I'm recording, so that's what it's taking me forever. Okay, so now I am moving on to my eyes. And the Morphe 35N palette, I am taking this shade right here. And I am just going to apply that all over my lips. I'm actually going to go in to my Urban Decay Glow Kit once again. And just take the shade Side Piece and Bliss and put that as a highlight in my brow bone. As y'all see, as you guys can see, I take my... I take my highlighter process very serious. Like, very serious. Like, insanely serious. Okay, so now moving on to my eyes. After I put on the highlight in the one shade, the I only put on like a white or like a nude shade just so it will match my eyelids. So now I'm just gonna go in with my Tarte Lash Curler, curl my lashes. And honestly, we are basically done because all I'm going to do now is just put my Tarte Lights Camera Lashes Mascara. And for my lashes, I am going to be using these lashes right here. And these are my everyday lashes. They are not that crazy but they are fuller at the end and they're like not so full for the front so it gives it like a cat eye illusion so this is why I love these lashes I wear these like almost every single day for my everyday look and sometimes I do pair these with a look that I do wear if I don't want a lot of lash so I'm just gonna go in and apply these I don't know where I got these just from Amazon I've been recording videos and I still have not checked which one these are so any video that I wear these I'm gonna link them down below because I have recorded like two three videos by now so yeah, so I'm just going to go in and apply these lashes real quick. I believe I got, yeah, I did get these lashes. These lashes have to be Salon Perfect Lashes. But I'm not sure exactly the number, honestly. So, Salon Perfect Lashes for sure. Number, I'm not sure. But I will find that out for you guys. And I'm actually using the Duo Brush on a Duo Ardell Duo Brush on Adhesive, and this is in the black shade. I love and hate this at the same time because when I have, oops, okay, this just messed up. Okay, so when I have eyeliner on, this glue comes through. This glue is like, okay, mamas, I'm not gonna mess anything up. But when I don't have, when I don't have eyeliner on I am so scared that this is gonna hit my skin on my eyelid like real close to it because it like, it's really hard for it to come off so I hate when it touches my skin when I have no eyeshadow or no eyeliner on it's just like a bad process so now I'm just gonna go in and apply these lashes really quick I need to buy more, but I'm like, let me just use this one. Because this one isn't bad. It's just bad when you have no shade or eyeliner on. So, like, if it touches your skin, it's just OV. Like, it's literally over. 
because it's not gonna come off and you're gonna take your lash off. And you now that I have my lashes on, I'm gonna go in and coat my, coat my falsies and my actual lashes with my mascara and go in and coat my, actually no, my lad, my lad, my bad. I'm actually gonna go in with the waterproof Rimmel London nude eyeliner and put this in my waterline. Just like that, and then coat my bottom lashes with mascara. So I'm not gonna get up and fake it and say that I actually wear a lip color every single day because that is not the case. Like if I go and do my everyday makeup like I just did right now, I will literally go in with any nude lip liner and that's if I do that. Usually I'll forget and I'll leave and I won't have lips for the day, but I will go in with any nude pink lip liner, any soft color, just line my lips, and I will literally take Vaseline and put it all over my lips and call it a day. So, yeah, that is it. And that was it for this look. I really hope you guys enjoyed, and if you guys did, make sure you guys give this video a huge thumbs up and hit that red subscribe button down below. Make sure you guys, make sure you guys, make sure, make sure you guys, <laughs> make sure you guys follow me. <laughs> Make sure you guys follow me on my social media. It will be listed down below in the description box. And yeah, so I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys.